Hello. Oh, let me put the timer away. Um, I got a lot to do here for, for a little bit. Not only am I still working on my lunch, but also I got, I got to finish setting up. I, um, uh, it's spring break and I've got like three days at home before I go to Vermont for a couple days and then back to school. Um, so normally if it was just three days, I wouldn't bring my computer, but I'm on such a roll lately with getting work done on YouTube stuff that I, I, I was just like, it'll be worth it. So I slowly took apart my whole computer set, uploaded it all into my car, drove back home late last night, lugged it all in and then fell asleep and just like totally conked out. Um, what was I even going to say? Oh yeah, point is, I hadn't even started setting up any of my computer stuff. It was just all in a pile on my floor when I woke up this morning an hour later than usual because it was daylight savings and I forgot. Um, so I just barely got it all hooked up before hitting go live. So there's an enormous chance that there's going to be like a whole array of tech difficulties during the stream. So uh, please do let me know if you experience a buzzing sound. That's the most likely problem. Um, it's like easily the most likely thing to happen is a buzzing, a persistent buzzing sound in my mic for the whole rest of the stream. So please be on patrol for that. If there's this really persistent, obnoxious, like, feedback buzz, uh, do let me know. Um, hopefully, my, like, I haven't hooked up to the Ethernet, my Wi-Fi is good, there's just this thing going on with Google Chrome right now for me where it all has, like, a terrible frame rate for some reason. I'm not sure why. Like YouTube specifically has like a, a horrific frame rate. What if I refresh it? Oh, it's fixed. All right, well, <laughs> anyway, we're playing Spirit Fair. So I'm gonna work on booting that up. I guess I'll keep the music playing because it might take me a hot minute. Uh, but yeah, uh, busy. Busy morning, afternoon, whatever for me. Also, this is gonna drive me crazy. I didn't have time to work on my, like, pushing cables out of the way. It's not under my desk, it's just a web of cables. So I pretty much just have my feet, like, slid into this big, massive cable. It's not great. Um, I didn't have time to organize them. So I'll have to do that after the stream. I'm going to boot up Spirit Fair now. Well, no. First, I'm going to pull up the Red Sox game. Let's be... Let's not be children about this, okay? Okay. Mute. Here we are. All right. Now. Spirit Fair. Open. Please. There we go. Pause the music. Spirit Fair is opening. I have my controller plugged in. Everything's fine. <laughs> my head is in a great place right now this, at this exact moment. Okay. Record Spirit Fair. Oh, I got I got to um, resize the window. There we are. I also will turn up game audio a little bit because I had it on Shadow the Hedgehog mode. I also watched back some of my perfection streams 
and the audio is far too quiet, so I apologize for that. From now on, or not perfection, expanded. From now on, all the Stardew Valley expanded streams, the audio will be jacked up significantly so you can actually hear the game over me talking. Man, 22. We're not even a quarter of the way through. Shit, man. I want to finish this game eventually so we can play something else, but... Christ almighty. Alright. Game went away. Game's back. But yeah, let me know if the capture... Let me, let me make sure the capture is definitely... Okay. Every time I click on a different window, it, like, stops the game. Okay. Okay. Um, it's bedtime, so I guess I'll just go to sleep immediately. I'm gonna need to remember, like, what we were doing and why. I'm gonna keep working on my sandwich here. Sheep. Sheep sounding off. Okay. Here's what needs to happen. You're starving. Sorry, boo. Uh, we need to figure out how to get aluminum. If memory serves. Because I need... I need a windmill. Chicken coop couldn't hurt either. But I need ash trees for that. Ash trees and, al and aluminum. These I'm just not even close to. Um, we have all these. This one. So I've already built this one. Gustav's gallery. I need glass and cotton thread. Cotton thread's easy peasy, but glass is... Um, a little tougher. Air draft, lounge, and zipline. Lounge. Oh, this might, like, improve the happiness of my best friends. I can also set up zip lines and air drafts to move around more freely. Uh, we will absolutely be setting up an air draft when I can. Alright, well. The, the, the truth at the base of everything remains that I need aluminum and literally cannot find it. I can't go here because I can't pass through that yet. Um, can't pass through any of this yet. I can pass through the ice, and I figure, like, progression-wise, the aluminum will probably be on the ice, but I... I just... I just can't make it happen. Susan has an exclamation point. Which is peculiar. And so, we will go there. Alright, gang. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it. Okay, I gotta get myself, like... Sorted again. Like, instantly overwhelmed. Good morning. I'll get to you in a moment. Please wait your turn. Uh, hmm. Sugar cane. That's new. We have a lot of sunflower seeds, so I'm good there. We hit something. Oh, it's a little creature. Okay. Please hold. I'll get to you in a moment. Good morning. I'll get to y'all in, in a second, all right? Um, hello. Oh, I gotta interact with Alice. Let's start it. Oh yeah, Alice is gone. I care about my passengers. It's over. I found your kids. Your kids are annoying. Alright. Now let's feed our friends. Excuse me. Oh, I gotta take my red hat off. I just put it on for the Alice quest and I don't actually like it. Alright. Give me the, uh... 
Just like full beach. Let's do it. Having a beach day. Uh, are you hungry? You are. How about... I know you love poached fruit, but I don't know if I already gave that to you. Stupendous. Um, give. Oh, yeah. Do I have any more minerals to give you? You've been given an amethyst. Diamond. Here we are. Don't tell me you find a diamond. Incredible. Fantastic. Faithfulness. Innocence. Increased feelings of self-respect and love. And, of course... Relationships full of pure love. In fact, diamonds are believed to fill negative spaces in one's life. This reminds me, I don't know if y'all have seen, there was this, like, TikTok of this person, like, before eating, putting their, like, bowl of food on this, like, ring thing, and then was, like, talking about, it was supposed to be about, like, imbuing or whatever, but the stuff that they were saying, they were like, DNA upgrades, DNA, DNA upgrades, life, life, DNA, and it's like, what is a DNA upgrade? I would like one, but... Okay, are you hungry? No. How about a hug, though? Best friends, you and me. Best friends. It's snowing. Okay, Summer's taken care of. Ast Astrid's taken care of. Gustav, I think is your name. What do you like, Gustav? Hugs, but... But, like... Exotic food. And you need a home. That's fair. Okay, paella is exotic, but I probably fed a paella just like a second ago. How about a, uh... <gasps> crates! I'm sorry. Oh, no, you like it. Okay. Time out, time out, time out. God damn, that was cutting it close. Nice. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Cool. How are you? You're hungry. How about a uh, fish? Love you, boo. Love you. Opinion on the Minnesota Twins. I like the Minnesota Twins. Quite a bit. Anytime they're in the uh, playoffs, which is almost never, uh, I'm rooting for them. Eh, not almost never. They're there just last year. And my dog's barking up there. I to see my dogs this morning. That was quite nice. Am I forgetting anybody? Summer, Atul, Gustav, Astrid. I think that's it, because then, yeah, we got Gwen and Alice, uh, who have already passed on. So we just have the four. That's a good number. I was a little overwhelmed when we had, like, six people on here. Which I don't think ever happened, <laughs> but like, I'm still gonna whine as if it did. Woo aluminum. Did I get it? Or are you just like trying to manifest? Oh, I see. Well, I appreciate it regardless. It's gonna happen. When you die. Oh yeah, I got one. Nice. Okay, well now I just need, what, like a thousand? I didn't even notice. Alright, I'm making my own fun. Please excuse me. Okay. We're going to Susan's. You put that on the turtle. I can absolutely put on the turtle, and that's a fantastic idea. I will do that. Your wisdom is... Incredible to see. Susan, my map said I should talk to you. Um, there we are. I, I, I found enough uh, gems. I can claim a reward. Well done. We are but mere mortals in your presence. Tell us, oh great spirit fairy, what can I possibly give you that would quench your immense appetite? Well, this concludes the thrilling saga of how many gems you can bring me. Don't forget to not write. I freaking know it all. I got a crusher upgrade. I don't even have a crusher. Mm -hmm. Oops. Sorry. <coughs> I'm joking. <on> something. <coughs> <coughs> oh. I got like a fleck of something lodged in the back of my throat. Hey, you know what? I never hit the bell. I never hit the bell to wake him up. Thank God they just did it themselves. I just realized. 
That's it. Okay. See ya. Ah. Choking to death. Oh, it's the guy who sells little trinkets and shashkis. What's up, my friend? Um, I'd like to sell. Actually, first, let's see what errands you have. See if I just by pure chance. No dice. Okay. I guess I'll just pawn some stuff off. Anything that says should be sold, uh, I will sell. Because I listen to what I'm told. Okay, that's it. See you, pal. The tool's shredding it. That's cool. I like that like a lot. Um, all right. We're going to the turtle. So, turtle's over here. So, right next to a bus station. So, we're just gonna hop on over to the bus stop. Say hi to whatever his name is, Alex. Munchkin. Yes! I made these for you. Thank you! What the hell? I just, like, touch it and close my eyes. Come to me. Huh. I don't think they finished an animation for that one. Because it kind of just snaps into, like, the other pose she does. <laughs> That's fine. I got my treats. Okay. Well, um... I think the game is screwing with me. I don't know where to get aluminum, and I'm really upset. You can probably tell by my voice that I'm just, like, shaking. What's up, goofball? Uh, let's, let's head out. How about... I love that this song is so bizarre that they were like, we should, like, code in a thing into the game that lets people turn it off if they want. <laughs> I won't, because I love it. It's great. All right, well, we're here. Thanks, Alex. Love you. Love you, boo. All right, now. We're going to Olga. Which is, I think, her name. Unless I read it wrong. I'm making my own fun. Game audio is kind of quiet. Dude, say no more. I'll turn up just for you. But now you guys have to tell me if it's too loud, okay? Deal. Yes, sir. Oh, are we here? My controller is going wacky mode, so I assume that means we're here. Ma'am. All right, let me harvest the goods. There we go. neat well let's see here obviously the aluminum goes in stupendous now uh we have so much of everything else i got some more copper and we'll do more iron as well all right olga thank you as always for your time are you all done have been for a few seconds my friend See you later then. All right, I'm gonna blow you a big kiss. Okay. Now, ideally, in the meantime, we find somewhere where aluminum just kind of spawns naturally anyway, so we can grab some. That would be ideal. Okay. Uh. Because I, I truly feel like it, it has to be in this region behind the ice. What is this? Fireflies. That's for fire glow. Which we don't need yet. So, we'll go there later. Um, some tuna over there. You can tuna 
fish. You can catch a tuna fish, but you can't catch a piano fishing rod. I guess we investigate this whole area. So I guess let's go back to the bus stop. Man, this is really stomping me, friends. Holy schmoosh. All right, I guess I'll just wait for a while. I think. I could go fishing. I, I isn't. I remember we were trying to, like, catch fish for the collection. I don't know if we still need to or not. I might just, like, take some time to work on my sandwich. To be frank with you. Working on it. We're here. I was working on my sandwich. And like occasionally jostling the joystick to make it look like I was playing something. Mm. All right. I kind of, here's what I want to do. I want to explore like everything that we haven't yet explored. I mean, we found one of them in crates. Let's hit up. All right, asshole. Just trying to make a scene. Sleep until morning. Good night. We gotta listen to this jokester's music for a whole night. Rise and shine, dude. Hurry. Okay. We're gonna hit these crates up here because we'll get a little more exploration. And we'll also get presents. So. How about them apples? Gotta hit the bell, dumbass. Same as every morning. There we go. How are you doing? Are you hungry? Yes, I want some corn. Love you. Love you, bear. Okay. Uh, I'll water these. Hi, Atul. We should also check our requests, because I've forgotten. We're going to grow some... We have lots of corn seeds. And that's, like, the best thing to feed the uh, fish. Sheep. Didn't I make that exact slip up in one of the perfection videos? Pretty sure I, like, exactly one for one called a fish a sheep. Called a sheep a fish. Wow. I think God crossed a couple wires in my head. And now fish and sheep are just the same thing to me. What do you like? You like plain food, but I still haven't found your favorite food. So, how about... How about something healthy? Okay. Neutral. That's whatever. Everybody's in a great mood. Which I'm really happy about. No Lulu. We got some cotton seeds, though. No, we should we should chart a course before we do any chores. Okay. Did I discover anything new? No. No. Um. Okay, we're gonna just keep going crate hopping until I get a better idea of what we're gonna want to do here. Here we go. Let's check our requests. Spice up your life. At a desk. We're just gonna go one by one. Oh wait. A tool. A tool with like a desk. Aluminum. Okay. So that's that's also just relying on aluminum on that one. 
Fishing trip. Fried chicken. We need fat, which I think we need a mill for to make sunflower oil. Or crusher, I mean. We need a crusher to make sunflower oil. So we can't do that until we get a crusher. Humble abode. We need to visit Iwashima countryside. That seems easy. Have we not done that? Okay, we should do that. We need glass for that. And cotton thread. We can, like, get that. And then this we've been working on for so long. Citrine, hematite, or opal. We need to find one of those three things. I'm assuming I don't have any. We have hematite. We've had it for so long. We've had it for such a long time. It was just the fact that I had four of them and it just looks like a rock. I was certain it was not important. Oh my god. Summer. I'm so embarrassed. I've been able to complete this quest for so long. Jesus. A hematite. Hematite crystals bounce. Whatever. Said that they're highly protective energy. is good for helping women who lack courage. Stimulate the mind too and improve self-confidence, willpower, and self-esteem. Oh, and are famous for their action to provide pain relief. Not to mention they smell really good. I did it. With that last gem, my basic medicine cabinet is complete. Since my meditation room is already furnished with a nice little altar, you can come by and admire it at any time. Truly grateful for your help. A beacon of light. Is that me? Tell I hadn't planned on it, but I think I have something more important to teach you. Our next class, well, we'll have to leave the boat for it. Mount Toriyama. Okay. Mount Toriyama. What's up, man? How about some cherries? <laughs> Okay, we finished the fracted cabinet. Now we're gonna go to Mount Toriyama. We're gonna go to Iwashima countryside. We're just gonna go on a grand tour now and, and appease all our friends. And maybe, cause I'm thinking, now that we've like explored basically the whole map that we can without finding aluminum, my instinct is that it is locked behind a quest we have to advance first. So we're gonna just do a lot of quest advancing. Uh, Mount Toriyama, I think is where Summer wanted to go. Mount Toriyama. If only I knew where Mount Toroyama was. That looks like a mountain. That's Furugawa. That's mountain. That's Mount Toroyama. B words. All right, cool. Done. Uh, are you hungry? Nay. All right, super duper appendix. I haven't yet talked to you. Are you hungry? I bet. You bet. <laughs> I meant. Needs a home and is hungry. Well, we'll make you home when, when we get some glass, you chump. I'm also going to give you a hug, though. I do not mind a caring moment now and then. Neither do I, my friend. Neither do I. Okay. You like paella. So. Oh, also, I discovered, yeah, acquired taste and exotic food are your favorites. Favorite food that we have yet to find. Snowy. Look. Found something you might like. Here's a gift. Thanks, man. That's just straight cash. God, I need a haircut. It, my hair keeps falling on my face and it tickles. Ugh. Oh, dude, he's um actualing summer. Look at this. This guy is just iced out in Reddit gold. This this dude stalks like ask Reddit threads, and then anytime someone asks for help, gets really condescending. I feel like 90% of times you, like, see a Reddit thread where someone's like, Hey, my printer stopped working. Instead of being like, like, and it's like, this is the kind of printer I have. Instead of being like, here's how to fix it. It'll always be like, well, you were kind of asking for it with that printer model. Someone else would be like, uh, the Inkjet 500? Yeah, I think I have an idea how that one broke. It's like, tell me! Just let me fix my printer. I don't care. I love you. I love all of you. You're all great. This game has no bad characters. I've decided. At least so far. They're all lovely. And I'm gonna be the show 24 stream with feed generations. I will be buying it on my PS5, yes. If I can figure out how to capture my PS5, which should be easy. 
uh, then yeah, you bet your bottom dollar will be playing some MLB The Show 24. Not even the outfit shamer. Well, she like clearly had like dementia. <laughs> so I feel like I should let that slide and instead of focusing on the fact that she was really sweet <laughs> and picked my the fruit off my trees. Okay, um, I really wasted like the whole day, didn't I? We're here. Summer! Summer, we're leaving! Work on my second sandwich of two. What a, what a nice quaint place. And the view, well, it can't be beaten, can it? Yes, this will be perfect. I see a little promontory up that cliff. What is that? Just go ahead, I'll meet you there. Thinking about the etymology of the word, it's probably something, it's probably a cliff face um, adjacent to a mountain. I wasn't paying attention. Taco's somewhere on the cliff side. Love you, sweetie. Alright, well, cliff side. Oh, that's- this is that cliff that I was like, why is it here? Durr. Well, there's a citrine. <laughs> Doi. What are you doing in college? What are you going to college? Oh my god. It, it, honestly, surprised I'm learning anything. What are you going to college for? Chemistry and music. <laughs> I'm looking to major in chemistry, minor in music, if possible. Which it is very possible. It's more like a if I can freaking manage to graduate. Not be a dingus. La 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 la. Hello! How'd you get up here? You're hungry. How about, uh, nope, you're probably about to die. <laughs> I'm just being economical! Let's talk. I haven't lost my touch, have I? Might be old, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Yeah, I mean, you blew my mind. And beating younglings in a climbing race has always been a specialty of mine. But enough of this. Let's focus on the matter at hand. This lesson, as you might have guessed, will be a little bit special. Up to now, we focused on the proper care of plants and crops. Well, now I think it's time to concentrate on the proper care of one's mind. Which is a plant and a- It's like a plant! I know it's coming. Sunlight and music were the tools of the former. Well, for the latter, our tool will be the act of meditating. And that's specifically why I brought you here. See this boulder? It hasn't been consecrated for nothing. Powerful spiritual energies flow through the area. I know, I know, it might seem strange. Occult, even. But just humor me. First things first, sit down next to me just like this. I like this pose. All right, your turn. <laughs> Meditation, Stella, is an affair of wholeness. Of wholeness and of oneness. A lot of novices believe, wrongfully, that meditating is the pursuit of an empty mind. But the mind is not empty, Stella. It is a beast. Savage and untamed. Violent and caring. Loving and destructive. Hateful, curious, scared. A ball of frayed nerves. Much like the dragon, it cannot be controlled. It must be allowed to roam free. I forgot about the dragon. I think I'm missing the point of meditating, but I'm going to take advantage of this to work on my sandwich. My father also lived with this tormented creature. <laughs> no. This is a really important and influential scene. I should not be chewing while I'm reading the dialogue. Okay. 
Of a different kind, perhaps. I got gunk on my screen. I gotta clean it off. He chose to fight it. I'm gonna try and clean it off right now. This little like schmear sh of something. This is a great example of how unable I am to just sit still. This whole scene's about meditating, and I'm doing a thousand things that aren't just reading the dialogue. All right, I can't get the gunk off the screen. He chose to fight it. Tried to muscle it down into submission, to mark it under the auspice of violence, and mostly to silence silence it. He thought that nothingness was the solution. Oh. Her mood has decreased. But the dragon is indomitable. The fight left my father a broken man. Let your mind wander, Stella. Gently like you would a scared kitten. Let it smell the grass. Let it notice the wind flowing through your hair. The heat radiating from the stone behind you. The rhythmic breaking of the waves below. Let your spirit penetrate all things. Not make them yours, but to make yourself theirs. Daffodil's doing a great job. Be one and be whole. But keep being. How lovely. Request advanced. I did it. All right, base jumping. Oh! <gasps> oh my God! It's 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 Gwen and, and Alice and Summer. Wait, no! Where did Summer go? Summer's up there. Oh, what the hell? Summer, how's your constellation already up there? Y'all saw that, right? Like that was definitely like a snake with a hood up there. Is that your dad? I don't know. Would you like so No, it's fine. <laughs> it seems like my lesson had quite the influence. You're up there for hours. I just had to stretch my legs at some point. Oh, what are you saying? A vision? Of course. You're the spirit fair after all. The mystical energies of this world are bound to affect you in mysterious ways. I'm sure there are other such areas of power. If you find them, be sure to take the time to meditate. Perhaps more visions will rain down upon your mind. Oh, yeah, there are plenty of rocks that look like that. You know, Stella, while you were up there, I tried to do some thinking. I wanted to prepare for our next lesson. There's still so much to teach, but I couldn't think. My mind was uneasy. For you see, I too have had a vision. A gift from the universe. It's the dragon, Stella. I have felt him creeping slowly towards me. I thought I had some great purpose to accomplish before he would swallow me whole. But I now realize that the dragon hasn't crept much at all. He has kept up with me for quite a while now, and ignoring it won't do me any good. Well, let's go, shall we? Sure. Why are you in the stars and also alive? Summer. Girl, you ain't got legs. Yeah, how did I not process that? I was just like, yeah, man, stretch him. Bedtime. Nope, nope, nope. It's too dark to navigate, Dingus. Okay. Good night, world. La, la, la. Snoring. Okay, well, let me talk to Summer first. Let me ring the bell first. Jesus. Summer! Wow, you are an early riser. No one has to. You're sad. What about... I just gave you this. I don't have many other... Things that you like, unfortunately. Home run! Say Don Raffaella. Yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. In the Dominican series in front of his family. Yep. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You're sad. Now you're, whatever. You just need a home more than anything. It'll happen, baby, don't worry. 
Uh, hell yeah, dude. Say not oh, pretty. What what can I do here? Oh, okay, whatever. Dude, Sadon Raffaella. What a little baby. Very young and very cool, and I love him. Sugarcane. Corn. The third thing. Uh, let's grow some more cotton. There's Gustav going to work outside. Oops, I planted more corn. I'll water it later. I need to focus on... I'll do the chores when we're in transmission. Getting cold all of a sudden. They might be going a bit tired. Maybe I'm not rested enough yet. Just take me a little time and then we can continue our lesson. I'm excited about the next steps. Don't give up. Son of a bun, dude. Don't forget. Don't forget about the fried chicken thing. I'm trying. I need a crusher first. Dude. You like plain food. I'm going to hug you as well. Okay. Um, cook. Let's just, I have a bunch of fish. <laughs> okay. Do I, um... Son of a bitch! I was trying to check my recipes. I don't think I have to interact with the kitchen to do that. Whatever. Do I have the recipe for fried chicken? I have grilled chicken. Pork chops, squid skewer. Here it is. Fried chicken. Yeah, chicken and fat. I don't have any fat right now, I don't think. I think I need to get a crusher. Because I had the sunflower seeds and it said like you can make oil out of them. If you put in a crusher. I believe. Uh, okay. Oh. How about a meal? I'm starving. Yes, you actually are literally starving. Do I have any grain salad left? There you go. What a treat. I mean, it's one of my favorite meals. And a hug. And a hug. Now we're in a great mood, aren't we? Huh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Rose. Who's Rose? I wonder. Is that your lover? Do you have a lover named Rose? Who's Rose? When I was healed, I didn't want to go back to my old life, to the ways of poison and hatred. Rose had reminded me of my youthful love. Unintentionally, she had unveiled my eyes. I'm so lost. Sold everything I owned. Took every dirty penny I had ever earned. I bought a plot of remote land and started anew. Listened to the hidden songs of nature. When you listen, Stella, really listen. The plants tell you all sorts of things. They tell me to kill. They tell me to rule. What they like, what they need, who they love. Some call it biodynamic farming. I call it the listening to the universal chant. Okay. Carved this little nest in the middle of the woods. And when finally it responded, and the flowers and the trees and the birds started flourishing, stronger than they ever could with the touch of poison, on the day of the solstice, when the hill was emerald green, well, that's when I asked her to marry me. What did she say? What did she say? Uh -huh. Found something. Thanks, man. Gustav makes me fat stacks, uh, which I really enjoy. Okay, I need to actually go somewhere. Um, all right. Let's see here. The dragon! Oh, it's a separate dragon. There are two dragons now? 
yeah we're gonna go uh meet the dragon how about they're growing the dragons are multiplying let's see okay in this world all of the like things that have turned into animals or like animal like creatures from what i can tell are just kind of like people who are about to pass on so all of the dragons are probably because for a second i was like no they're too big but it's like freaking olga is huge so it's like the dragons are probably some kind of people from summer's past that really like way on her i don't know if maybe they're like children that she did something to <laughs> i'm really spitballing here because she said that thing about her old life being awful um so i think she did something that she really regrets that hurt like this set of people who are now dragons who pursue her everywhere and she and it's more of a guilt thing than a fear thing probably We'll see. I'm probably correct because I'm really smart about these kind of things. 50% <laughs> of the time. I don't know, man. You get games like Undertale where the lore is really compatible with my brain and I was able to kind of figure out everything as I was playing. And then you get games like Outer Wilds where like everything was right in front of me and I still struggled with so many simple things until I watched it all back to edit it and then it was like, oh, doy! <laughs> Just having fun. We're almost there. We're almost there. We need to visit the Iwashima countryside, is what we need to do, man. Seriously. Also, the crusher. We need that, but the ingredients are super freaking obscure. Oh, I'm not allowed to go inside because there's like shit going on. What? Summer's asleep, but the dragon still came. You want to help it? Of course I do. All right, let's get ready for it. Hey, it's gonna be okay, dragon. All right, I need you to I need you to hang tight for me. Please hang in there. I, I need to, I need you to make the little I'm okay symbol with your hands so I know you're all right. Hello. Sorry. That looks like it hurts. Quartz. Hooray. Don't worry, it's gonna feel great. It's gonna feel great when it's all over, my friend. I just need you to trust me on that front. Yes, hello? Oh, hi. This should do it. Nope. Nope. Oh. Malarkey. All right, here we go. Thanks. Yeah, these dragons are clearly important because it they have like the main theme of the game in their music. Bingo. All right, are we done? Are, are you okay? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? <gasps> it's all gone. You look better. Here, let me get back onto my boat and then I can have a chat with you. All better? Uh... I think we're good. Um, let 
Hmm. Clearly something is supposed to be done over here because the camera won't let me leave it. Oh, goodbye. I, don't, I think I just missed my chance to do something. Uh oh. Wow. 10 grilled fish. Bon appetit. All right, well, I guess we're leaving. I'm glad you feel better. There's still this one over here. Uh, do we do it? Okay, well, we need to go to Iwashima Countryside. Oh, Aluma's done. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna turn like safe travel. No, wait, no, because I want the crate. Eh. Oops. God damn it. I hit the wrong thing. Right button is safe travel. I just saw the X on the slider. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's good. Everything's good. Gotta figure out these quests. Okay. Crusher needs to be made. I think while we put the aluminum stuff on the back burner. I think I can take... I have like a long ride to kind of just get myself figured out. Crusher. Needs to happen. Needs to. Ash plank, zinc ingot, and pulsar ingot. Three things I just do not have. Can't even find. Ugh. Okay. Um. Uh, I think rock destroyer is what needs to happen next because I think I, that'll give me access to a bunch of new materials I need for a crusher. I'm assuming I need to get rock destroyer before I get, um, crusher. So I need aluminum for this. I have the glims, aluminum. I've got the marble, fire glow I can get. Spirit flower I'm probably about to get more of. So really everything is halted until I get more aluminum. Work on these quests. Damn, dude. Tricky business. Talk to Ingrid in the old central district. Talk to Catherine in the obscure canopy. We'll do that later. Um... Yeah, Gustav's Gallery, can't do it. You wish you were countryside, we can. So let's work on that. Fried chicken. Desk. This needs aluminum. This, I think, needs a crusher. Or just if I can find any form of fat. Naturally. Losing my mind, gang. Losing my mind a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna go fishing. Going fishing. It's decided. God. Wait. Oh my God, I wasn't close enough to it. Garbage. What is that? Aluminum? Iron. Aluminum? No. Aluminum? You're starving to death. How about some stew? Love you. Love you, Goober. We're tight, right? We're tight, probably. All right, see you. Okay, well, sleep, I guess. Let's go to sleep. I 
I'm really stinking up this game, man. <laughs> I just need to find aluminum. Start getting some stuff done. <sighs> Alrighty. Oh, bell. Ding. Corn. Okay, now. Water the plants, tend to my babies. Baby tending. This baby needs no tending. What about Summer, who has been asleep constantly for about three or four days? I can't read your text. It's cut off, like, fully. Alright, well, you just keep sleeping, I guess. Maybe to wake her up, um, we need... Good morning. To, to handle the other... Um, do I have any more? There we go. Maybe we need to take care of the other dragon. And then she'll wake up, because there are two. Be a deer and do what? You're going to have a little something to eat on you, would you? Oh, you're too kind. So polite. I have like a lot of fish, but I think I just fed you fish. How about instead an apple as a meal? <laughs> I have so many fruits. Okay. Um, we're over halfway there. Very exciting stuff. Guess I'll fish for a little while longer. Maybe I should put some stuff in the cooker. Neat. Let's put something in the cooker. Now. Um, I got lots of different fishes. Let's do some mussels. Um, mussels and corn. Mussels and carrots. That'll take a long time to cook. Okay. Uh, we're almost there. What are we doing again? Right now? I think we're doing neither of the two things I should be doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look at Then we'll go to Iwashima countryside. I don't know where that is. Bottom line. Albert Shipyard. Hummingburg. Arkansheim. Iwashima countryside. Right there. Okay, so we'll go there. Uh, we'll, we'll just take the, the bus. And then we'll go to here. And, uh... Deal with Astrid's... Things tasks and it'll be great A soul. I think we've already gotten one of those, but it's okay. All right, Olga. You better have my aluminum, girl. Or we're going to have problems. Olga. Olga. Get over here, man. I'm going to work on my sandwich, I guess. Here she comes.
Howdy. Howdy, friend. There it is! Bingo! Seven! This is so exciting. Now, I'm gonna put aluminum in all three of Olga's slots. And then, in due time, we'll have more than we know what to do with! Hello? Okay. What? There you go. I'm done, Olga. I'm done. You can go. You can leave now. Are you done? Yes. Bye. Love you. Daffodil, no! Daffodil! Come back to mommy! Okay, we're fine. No worries. There you are. Okay. All good, y'all. Don't even, don't even fret. All right, now Olga's gonna work on that. And we're gonna work on going to Iwashima Countryside. As Astrid has requested. Look, did you find me something? Dude, thank you so much. You're in like an okay mood. <laughs> How about an apple? Yum. How about that speed? Pretty crazy, right? Alex. My friend. This is Iwashima, right? Yep. We're going here. Thank you, boo. Thank you, boo-boo. Huge fan. Huge fan of you and your antics, my friend. All right, see ya. Now we're going to Iwashima Countryside, as has been requested. Then we're going to go to the dragon. We're going to take care of the second dragon. There was an exclamation point on the map. Why? Oh, it's just a place I can't go yet. Um, yeah, we'll go to the dragon after this and see if Summer wakes up finally. If we take care of both the dragons. Wait, there's something crazy happening. Is it Gustav? Who's dark brown? It is Gustav. Where's Summer? She's not sleeping. Have you seen Summer today? She didn't get up this morning. I thought she just had a first light. Something seems wrong with her house. Maybe a Albert. I almost said alert. Albert the shipwright could help us. Figure out what's wrong with Summer. Albert the shipwright may be able to help. Why? Why Albert? It's fine. Uh, no. We're harvesting these later. Please. Okay. We're going to Yushiba Countryside, and then we will go to Albert instead of the, the Quartz Dragon, okay? Okay, guys, okay? It's important to be flexible. Astrid! I'm picking up some wood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni could have been around. Knowing him as I do, I have my doubts. He wouldn't linger in a place like this, but who knows? Maybe if you ask around, you might be able to find a clue or two. Minion here is killing me. Fair. Giovanni. That night didn't call for names, if you know what I mean. Do you remember his legs, though? Oh, brother! Wait! He's a wife? He didn't say anything about it. He did say he's going to Furugawa. Well, if you ever meet up with him, tell him. Tell him that Eileen misses him. Did not expect it to be that mm -hmm. easy. He was here and he me No! Don't tell me! I don't want to know! Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I do. But just a tiny bit. Only where he went. Furugawa, you say? I think I know where that is. I've heard it's a lovely place. Well, at least that's what the brochures said. I've always loved these colorful flyers. They make you travel without leaving your seat. Mm -hmm. Alright, Munchkin, let's check it out. That was easy. Meanwhile, dude, <laughs> Tool's just like, Oh my god! I love your childlike love of nature, Tool, and your whimsical world view. 
Um, okay. Well, lots of places we could go right now. I'm going to focus on the summer stuff. Quartz Dragon is back. Okay. We're going to go... Furugawa can wait. Which one's Furugawa? Which one's Furugawa? That's Furugawa. We're going to go instead to Albert. We're going to Albert. We're going to figure out what's up with summer. I'm going to give that priority. Cotton and corn. We're going to stop growing stuff for a little bit because I've got plenty. I've got plenty of plants and the like. Let's go. Travel. We are going. Sorry, the Red Sox just advanced a couple of runners to second, third, and I had to see them. Alex, take me away. Take me away. Sipo. All right, we're going to Albert. I can't upgrade anything, but what I can do is, um, I don't know take a frying pan to Summer's head and maybe wake her up. How many bucks do I have? Balls, whatever. 4,000. Okay, so I can't really upgrade anything. I do have these I could sell now that uh, I don't need them for Summer's medicinal cabinet anymore. Oh, my food's done. This was in the cooker for a while, so it better be good. Shellfish too. I actually do need more of that, so that's good. Let's do some squid. Let's get silly. Squid and rice. How about it? How about it? We should also make some more paella. I'm assuming that's just like some kind of bivalve and some rice. Okay. We're going to Albert's house and store. It's the same. They're both the same building. What is it? Summer might be dead. It's about that house, the green and brown one, right? I have some sort of, oh, have some sort of problem with it, don't you? Yeah, I can see from a mile away. Listen, I know my job. Me and the boys, we're real professionals. It's not often that we criticize another worker's craftsmanship, but that house, oh wow. Had to be the worst job I've ever seen. Oh, you silly. So consider this a lesson. Don't just trust any old amateur. Always go to a professional. So tell me, what complaints does your passenger have? Why well, she's sleeping? Oh, of course. That bald head of hers is very sensitive to temperature changes. Imagine how cold she must be. Not mentioning her dry and scaly skin. No, no, she needs a temperature and humidity control system. Luckily, that place was so shoddily designed, there's ample cracks for wiring and electronics. Ah, <laughs> silly goose. So yeah, here you go. Some plans and schematics for a nice all-in-one HVAC system. Pro quality. Call it a courtesy. After all, how can you repay your debt if your boat falls to pieces? <laughs> Shut up! All right, I was trying to laugh alone and not be awkward. My friend might be in trouble. A cold and dreamless slumber. That was not on purpose, by the way. That was me actually trying to say that word. HVAC system. Again, glass. Ooh, that's really pretty. We can actually do that right now. Um, HVAC. We need the glass, dude. Where do we get glass? There are now like a million separate people who are just begging me for glass. Okay, well, let's chart a course for Furugawa and we'll figure it out on the way there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there straight so we have an extra long ride to... Uh, think about what must be done. Do some smelting. Do some other refining. Glass. I've seen it. I can't remember where, but I know I've seen it. I remember seeing it being like, oh, what a pretty sphere of glass. And then that was it. Some water.
glass. Just like this bottle should be melt downable. Dude, genius alert. Oh my god! Oops. Wait, no, I wasn't ready. There we go. That is really simple, and I would have never figured that out myself. Damn it. And it's too dark to navigate. I like that this one's much faster. Wow, so I had access to glass this whole freaking time. Alright, bedtime really fast, and then we'll check what we cooked. It'll probably like light our ship on fire while we're asleep, that's fine. I have a magical oven <laughs> that cooks everything to perfection. Good morning. Good morning. Surfboard. Surfboard. I like that I can feed my sheep the same thing two days in a row. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut your mouth. Yay. All right, we can keep going. Uh, how's it going? You're hungry? Have you considered some fish? Love you. And you're in a great mood. Dude, stupendous. Okay, well, let me... Okay, well, let me get my food first. Hello? Okay. We got squid and rice. What's that gonna make? Fish curry. Tasty. Alright, let's make some more paella. Because I know, um... Gustav... Loves it. Uh, which should be rice and, uh, scallops, I guess. I think that's the closest we have. Like, it, obviously we should, it, it'd be best with mussels. <laughs> but we don't have any. Hi! Um, how about a baked fish? And would you like some, some... Shellfish stew? Uh -huh. Okay, that'll do, right? I mean, that's good. It's fine. Okay, let's make some more glass. We have a hell of a lot of bottles. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. Done. Five glass. All right, we got ten glass now. So, and I think I need some more iron, don't I? For the HVAC. Uh, this one takes forever, unfortunately. Alright, now we'll wait for like an hour. Yay! Okay, now I should be able to make the HVAC thing. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. And I forget what we need for the museum as well. Let's see. Oops, hold on. Oops, hold on. Okay. Thamo. Uh, yeah. Done. Alright, HVAC for summer. And then for Gustav's gallery. 
Just need 12 cotton thread. That should be easy enough. 12 cotton thread. Good morning. I'll see you in a little. Grand Slam! Bobby Dobick! Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for peeking the mic. I'm so sorry. Oh my god! I have too much to talk about with this one. Okay, time out. This means so much to me. For those of you who have been around on the channel for a while, this is a deep cut. My current favorite player is Trevor Story, and it has been for about a year. My, f my, my favorite player from 2020 to 2022, still technically my favorite player since 2020, Bobby Dahlbeck. Very deep cut. I bought a custom jersey just so I could make it a Dahlbeck jersey because they don't sell them. Because this dude is, obviously in the grand scheme of things, he's incredible at baseball to even get this far. But like in, in the scope of major leaguers, he's not very good. Um, they called him up. He was a prospect. They called him up in 2020, and he and he banged. He was so good. And then 2021, he got off to a slow start, but then had this great finish and had like a pretty solid season for the Red Sox, and they went to the playoffs. And at the time, a lot of people were like, oh, Bobby Dalbeck's actually pretty good. In 2022, he was rancid, and I still loved him so much. They had him play for a little bit last year. He was rancid. He's just not good. Uh, strikes out constantly. Uh, but I love him dearly. And I've been watching him all spring. And he's just been sucking it up. And he just hit a two-out grand slam. I'm turning the audio on for this one. Oh, my God. Red Sox hoping for a big inning. Big high fly down the left field line by Dahlbeck. Deep into the corner. That one's sailing. And she is gone. That is a grand slam. Bobby! Bobby Dahlbeck cleans him off and puts the Red Sox in front. Bobby Dahlbeck, two out slam. Blast down the left field line where the ball is Very quiet. I know. I don't want to get in trouble. Red Sox lead it seven to five. Oh, my God. Bobby D. I freaking love Bobby Dahlbeck. <laughs> I have no idea how excited. I have a Bobby Dahlbeck jersey. I still do. I bought. Jerseys are expensive. They're 130 bucks. At least they used to be. Now they hiked the price even more. I I saved up and spent $130 in 2021 on a jersey just to put Dahlbeck on the back. To put Dahlbeck with, with his number on the back. I wore it on opening day of 2022. In Yankee Stadium, enemy territory, I wore my Bobby Dahlbeck Red Sox jersey to Yankee Stadium. Got heckled to hell for it. And that's how much I love Bobby Dahlbeck. I don't care how much I got heckled. I don't. Not even slightly. In my bag right now. Oh my god. So good at this. Damn it. Alright, cooked a little bit there. Alright, Summer, what's the what's the sitch? Still fuzzy. Oh, Stella! Went over, slept a bit. How long have I been sleeping? What? That much? Hibernating, you say? Well, I guess it was bound to happen. Might have been ignoring what my body was trying to tell me. Bad habit of mine. Thank you, Stella, for taking such good care of me. Wow, you're very, like, chill about it. You're great. Summer's great. Uh, you must be hungry, though. How about some, uh, grilled veggies? And a hug as well. You're crazy, man. It was the best, dude! So many drunk Yankees fans at the end of the game were like, Hey, Dahlbeck fucking sucks! And I would turn around and I'd be like, Yeah, I'll go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I'm like not a confrontational person at all, but when you diss my man, Bobby Dahlbeck, who, to be fair, is not a good baseball player in the context of the major leagues. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stand up for my man. I got to check Twitter. See if people are talking about Bobby Dahlbeck. Okay, whatever.
What made you a Red Sox fan? It was just pure hatred for the Yankees because I get it. Partially, but mostly just because of my family. It's all Red Sox fans. Grew up watching baseball, surrounded by Red Sox fans. So, of course, by osmosis, I was like, oh, uh, yeah, when the Red Sox win, my mom is really happy. Uh, so now I just, even if I tried not to, I would, I can't help it. I'm, you know, it's like genetically favored to root for the Red Sox. Uh, yeah, also the hatred for the Yankees really helps because they are just so lame. The amount of incessant whining I see online. This is such an entitled fan base. Being a Yankees fan is so hard. You have not had a below 500 record since the 90s, you turd. We're here. Let's go down. I know. That's why. That's whatever. It's fine. Astrid, let's move. Let's move, Astrid. Let's move. Let's look around. Mm, that's funny. Is it his cologne that I can smell? This peculiar mix of musk and nonchalance. Must have been here recently. Quick, Munchkin, let's ask around. I like that everyone has their own nicknames for me. Tool calls me Sprout. Summer calls me Honey Bee. Alice, I don't remember. <laughs> Fitting, I suppose. That's a bad joke. Uh, Astrid calls me Munchkin. I don't know what Gustav calls me. I don't remember. Anywho. Any signs of life? Have you seen Gu Giovanni? That name. Don't say that name. He almost broke up my marriage. Oh my god, this guy's a homewrecker. Came here a month ago. Big man. Thinking he's the boss. Good thing my wife came to her senses. Apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance. So happy my brother made it. I forgot about you. Why did I agree to come here? Giovanni. Hello, Giovanni. Are you in here? Oh, this is where I got uh, Gustav, isn't it? Son of a honey bunch. Oh, visitor. Welcome to the... Yeah. Uh, I've already been. I've already been. I've already been. I think. I think. New request. Greeting request. Greetings from Furugawa. I thought I already did the Furugawa tour. No, thank you. Oh, okay. Hello to you, too. Damn it, y'all. Come on. I, f I thought he was going to be hiding on one of these higher... Okay, I, I should just leave and talk to Astro. I also want this key. I Alice called you little one. Ah, yes, little one. Also endearing. Do you have the key? No. A lot of pork, though. Hi, Summer. Browsing for some seeds. Nice. Should get back to it. Okay. Clearly, that is used for something. Aha! Oh. I never want to go back home. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're more than welcome. Yay! Sorry. I keep peeking the mic. Bad habit. I'm just very excited today. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a prize. Okay, hold on. Doing it again. I got a signed vintage poster. All right, now, locked door is has become accessible. I think it's the one to the left of this tree. Hooray. And the prize is mine. Large glim bottle and some linen seeds. That's actually really not good. But it's good to know that I've finished everything here. So. Not all bad. What a bust. Yo, true. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Stella. I... Oh, damn it. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear his stupid jokes and incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral cologne. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the boat, Munchkin. Getting mixed, 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 uh, mixed feelings for you, my friend. 
All right. Well, let me get my food. I have a letter too. There's lots to do now. We're, we're finally kind of getting into a groove here now that it's halfway through the live stream. Paya. Okay. Let's, uh, summer how it goes it again. What happened? Stella, I, I wanted the dreams, Stella. They're back. So much stronger than I ever thought they could be. These visions, I see them now even as I'm awake. The reefs have turned into wafts of ethyl scented smoke. Ethyl? Like the alcohol? Are you were you are you a reformed alcoholic? I don't know. <laughs> and the rotten fruit formed into the eye of the dragon. Vitreous and sickly. A coil of arduous rust. Another dragon has woken. He scares me. Suffering cannot be allowed. You would agree, I'm certain. Let's go help it, shall we? Sure. That was a lot of words. The metastatic coil. God damn. Your house is really sad. Okay, let's <laughs> let's get to, let's get to work here. Um, mailbox. It's a letter from Olga, which advances my request. Here, let me, I gotta read it first. Doi, do, 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 do. Uh, documents. Here we go. Letter from Ol Olga. Asher, big news. We got another my sources have finally panned out. I heard my sister Masha might know something about your her husband's whereabouts. Just go and drop in on her. Okay. Um, well, uh, let me build Gustav's gallery. Finally. Holy smokes. Took, took me long enough. Okay. I've got so much space now. It's crazy. We're going to do some reorganizing. Later. <laughs> For now, I'm just going to build this spire. Okay. Um, are you hungry, my friend? No. Okay, new dragon. We're going to do that first. There's lots to do now. Desk, we're still freaking waiting, dude. Uh, Humble Boat, talk to Astrid. Talk to Gustav. And meet... Aluminum dragon! Wait, it's spelled aluminium in this one. I didn't even notice. They spell it like the, the, the UK way. They're like aluminium with an extra I. So I guess meet with the aluminium dragon. God damn it. It took me so freaking long. We just need another letter from Olga. Masha, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know something good. Let's go talk to her. She is, how to put it, special. Me and her, let's say we've never been friends. And Stella, thanks for playing Messenger. You're wonderful. Thank you. You're wonderful. Gustav, 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 Gustav. Really scaling the ladder here. Fantastic. As usual, Stella, you accomplished your end of the deal with Gusto. And while I noticed that you disregarded much of my previous indications, what a great space you managed to put together. You said it would be a much better working environment than that noisy guest house. And as a plus, I can even move in so I can entirely focus on my work. Oh, don't act surprised. I've only ever felt at home and surrounded by my work. While some might consider sleeping in their office of punishment, I'm actually looking forward to it. Can't wait to fill up this empty space. How exciting. Do carry on. Yeah, man, this is... This is really something, huh? Okay. Uh, well, it's almost bedtime, so I guess we'll hit the sack and we'll think about it. All right, so find Masha, meet the aluminum dragon. Sorry, aluminium. We're going to do the aluminium first. We're going to sleep, and then the first thing I do when I wake is aluminium dragon. Hooray! I think our percent's gonna go up significantly by the end of this stream. Because we're doing a lot of requests today. Last stream, we didn't do freaking anything. Just wandered around looking for aluminum. Aluminium. Apologies. You're green. You're really pretty. You're not hungry. Let me dong the bell. Okay. I need to install some, uh, like, updrafts and zip lines when I can because it's getting kind of unyieldy to navigate this place. Good morning, honeybee. Are you hungry, my friend? Uh, nope, you're good. How about a hug, though? Not yet attuned. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. <laughs> 
Oh my god. I oh that always startles me. You want to hug though. Thank golly gosh. Good. Good. <laughs> I like Gustav. Okay. We are now we're, we're left with four characters I really do enjoy. This is great. Ah. Yawn. I would like to harvest this box. Thanks. Okay, now. The aluminum dragon is going to just change everything, really. We'll be able to build so many cool things. Love and life, man. Love and life. Okay, we're gonna do game plan. Oh, wait. You probably are hungry. Yeah, here you go. An apple just for you. Okay, we're gonna do game plan. We're gonna do game plan. A fabulous garden. I prepared the. Okay, more lore. I prepared the garden for Rose. Wanted to give her a nook of paradise, a home filled with so much love, she would be overwhelmed by it. Jesus, I was wrong. Inc <gasps> incredibly so. When she came to live with me, the garden's yield grew tenfold. It was a sight to behold. She never had any formal training, and yet she always could tell which branch was sick and required cutting, or which plant needed fertilizer, or what crop was about to bloom. I've seen her wake up in the middle of the night to cover some delicate flowers. The next morning, a surprise frost would have hit the region. She didn't need knowledge. She didn't need my crude tools, chakras, gems, chants. No, she was an open gateway to the universe, an ethereal force. That's me. That's me, Summer. When the dragon came for its final visit, I was not scared anymore. How did it go, though? Speaking of, this one's green. Are you sick? Gotta wait for Summer. Slow ass. Some of us have places to be, Summer. <sighs> Whoa, look at you. Something smells different, don't you think? Oh, as I thought. Just, uh, just help us, Stella. Okay. Aluminum. Hooray. Aluminum ore! Whoa, whoa! What caused that? That was awesome. I got, like, a little speed boost. Tail is flicking about. I am in the ocean. Can you boost me or something? There we go. <laughs> oh shit. Hello? <laughs> I went the wrong way. There we go. Fuck! Damn it. Bop! The huge tail is very pretty. Son of a bitch. I wanted to get risky. I don't know, I gotta wait for a little bit. That's okay. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. I have spent two and a half, maybe three live streams looking for aluminum. Finally making it happen, Captain. Did I do it? Are you all better, boo boo better? Did I make it boo boo better? I'm so glad. Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. 
we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However I may feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Go for it, man. Goodbye, dragon. Love you. Glad I could help. Alright, cool. Oh, well. Stella. Um, you're Stella the dragon. I thought it was getting tamer. Seems like we finally learned to coexist. To manage, at least. But it's really getting stronger, isn't it? Well, you know what that means. As well as I do. It's time for me to go. Please, when you can, bring me to the Everdoor. I'll be fine. Wow. How, um... How anticlimactic. Well, I don't want to say that because that makes it sound uh, like implies disappointment. You're just very, uh, ready to go, huh? Okay, well... <laughs> sure. <laughs> I guess we're going to the Everdoor. I respect your willingness to admit it in as casual a tone as I would say, like, Hey, can we stop by, like, Arby's? I'm getting hungry. Hey, maybe just, like, swing by the Everdoor. How about... So I can go ahead and die. Alright, well... I very much enjoyed summer. You're cool cat, summer. Summer, last name. Be a deer. Mm -hmm. And do what? Oh, you're hungry. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, I don't really have any other plain things, so I'm gonna just try and find something else that you like. How about some, um... Fisherman's pie. Okay. Ow. Sheer. Bang, 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 bang. Neat. Alright, well, um... Yeah. Oh yeah, I should I should smelt some of my aluminum. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm leaving. I have to go kill my friend. Thanks, dude. I appreciate you. You are... You are too kind. Okay. Now. Everdor. That'll give us the second spear flower we need to get the rock crusher. And then it's just a matter of uh, getting all the other ingredients. He's gonna have his music that hurts his feelings. Yeah, I would literally never do it. Because he, he seems like... Seems sad. Don't forget what the fried chicken thing. Dude, I am trying like hell, okay? Aluminum! Aluminum is very volatile. So it heats much faster and temperature is much more touchy. can't see my freaking that's so annoying okay it works they're clearly fries are bomb yeah yeah i need to go back and try it again because i've had too many people say just try it again i just need to take a hit summer we're here <laughs> as you asked are you ready to go afraid so thank you hey why did any of this can i learn about a little more about you my friend how about? Everybody's coming up. We're doing a little goodbye roundup. A tool, you are so punctual, my friend. And you're hungry. <laughs> there you go. Wow, we're about to go down to only three passengers. That is really something, huh? All right, Summer. Are you ready? You're hungry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw a chat message that said, I'm so sorry for your loss. And I was like, maybe this game's message prompted someone to like open up about like a meaningful loss in their life. 
And then I checked what it was in reply to, and it was in reply to a message that says, My family once got stuck in an Arby's for four hours when our car broke down. That is a loss of sorts. Really thought I could keep up with it this time, the dragon. I was certain it was calming down. I could feel it purring, the warmth of it in my chest. Did you have some kind of disease? Okay, because everybody... Gwen died young from lung cancer. Alice, just kind of old age, natural causes, passed away. Also struggled with dementia. Summer. We don't know yet. Guess I just did it all over again, just like my father. The dragon is a beast. So am I. <laughs> I'm sorry. Indomitable, if I recall my own words correctly. Summer is gay terminal. Oh no. <laughs> Whether you choose to care for it or to beat it down. Oh, what would Rose think of me? Would she be proud? Would she be ashamed? I can't help but wonder what she would have done in my stead. Addiction? That's actually a really good shout. Because the way, the way she's described it very much sounds like she should be talking about addiction. Could also be a mental health thing. But I know. I know what she would have told me. She would have looked me straight in the eye. Her gaze would have pierced through the veil of my appearance. She wouldn't have said a word. She knew from the beginning. She knew the dragon would take me away. She knew I would have tried to love it and not hate it. Would she have judged me for my failure? Couldn't love it, Stella. I just couldn't. I'm sorry. What is the dragon? Can you explain to me? I'm very, I'm very dense. As much as I hate it, it is a part of me now. It will be forever. If I want to leave gracefully, I must accept it for what it is now. Just looking forward to so many more lessons with you. You've been such a gifted student, Stella. I am so proud of you. So proud of your heart. So proud of your... L's and R's, man. So proud of your blossoming soul. I'm sorry to leave you. You'll have to learn by yourself. I have no doubt that you'll pull through. The only lesson I have left is to show you what we're made of. Of ephemeral starlight. Okay. We're but a few particle Particles. We're but a few particles of thought on the vast stream of consciousness. This is the last thing I can teach you, Stella. That all things change. That all things end. And that is that, I suppose. Well, no, because we have a little more ways to go. Would you like to open up anymore? Thank you. I didn't do that, by the way. Before people get pissed at me in the comments when this becomes a video for like not taking this seriously and p putting a fart noise in there, that is a Twitch feature that I set up. Okay. I'm so proud of you, Stella. And I know Rose would be too. Thank you for everything. Mm. Big hug. Big hug for Summer. It was an absolute pleasure. Oh, she's in her, like, meditation pose. I really love the strings in this game. They're very beautiful. Show me the stars! Snake. Okay, here's my... I've got a few questions. What? I, I, I'm, I've got some thoughts. One, I kind of don't like immediately... So far, every time... Uh, someone has died... Or like has ascended in the Everdors, people have immediately pasted like a paragraph into the chat that's like, Alright, now I'm going to explain what, what all that meant. I don't necessarily want that. I kind of want to be able to like kind of reflect on it my own time. Maybe again while I'm editing this video or whoever ed edits it. And uh, try and figure out for myself. 
I think addiction and depression are both really likely. I do. She talked a lot about poison. And about her old life and poison. Talked about ethyl. I think it could be an alcoholism thing. She talked about an ethyl stench. She talked about poison in her past life. And she talked about like a lot of the dragon imagery kind of parallels. Like an addiction. Like a, like a thing that you're trying to outrun. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> oh shit, I missed something. I missed something. Sorry. Every time I try to rewind my baseball game. Okay, nothing happened. Sorry, everyone. That was a home run, but it was a foul ball. Okay. Back to work. Back to work. But yeah, if I want to figure out like these people's backstories in detail, I'll do it on my own time, alright? You have my word. My back once again hit a roadblock. As you know, much of my work requires me to communicate with my trusted correspondents. Of course, you used to help me with that quite a lot. But look at me now, back at full strength. And even though I don't need a secretary, I still need a desk. Now we could use any old desk, but that would defeat our purpose, would it not? Only the best for the good of the exhibit. To that end, I managed to track down a woodworker of excellent reputation. I know he lives in Oxbury, but I haven't been able to contact him. Uh -huh. So you should go and investigate some good old-fashioned field work. Well, I do not know exactly where he might be. I do know that his companion works in some sort of cafe. Maybe that could lead you on his trail. Oh, and on a related note, I've done some thinking. I am not certain the vast assortment of tools you put at our disposal will be enough. Since everything apparently has to be refined from raw materials, some finer materials will require a more specialized workshop. So you consider building a smithy. Yeah, absolutely. There's lots. There's lots to be done. First of all, let's collect our flower here. Yeah, I probably could have guessed that that was going to be her flower. All right, well. Done, done, done. Let's uh, chart a course. So, we need a desk for a tool. We need to go to Oxbury. We need to find Masha, and we need to build a smithy. Let's go to Oxbury. I don't know where Masha is, necessarily. Um, we know Olga. We could talk to Olga. Olga might have an idea of where Masha is. Um, oh, God. Is this Oxbury? Son of a bitch. Okay, we need to get the rock crusher first. Um, yeah. Oh, oh. Masha! Okay, we'll go to Masha. Uh, let's go to Masha right now. And, and on the way, we're going to take a long road. Because on the, on the way there, I have lots of, like, refining of stuff that I want to work on. And lots of building and getting myself kind of sorted. Okay. Um. Windmill. We can make some oak planks, then we can make a windmill. Crusher uh, is what we need next, but we need quite a bit for that. We need to get past... We need a rock crusher first. So, rock crusher um, and windmill are our next step. Let's get eight oak planks. I haven't done this one in a while. All I know is that I'm... Freaking awesome at it. I'm actually perfect at this one. Bang. I don't know if it was sawdust. I get a bunch of sawdust from this and I, I haven't been like doing anything with it like at all. Okay. Um, now, windmill. 
We're also gonna need to do some reorganizing though. We have all these. Oh god, yeah, the windmill is pretty big. Okay, well, it's gonna go right here. That's actually a lovely spot for it. Now, uh, we have a windmill. Next. Smithy. Talked about building a smithy. How might that be done? Is it an upgrade to the foundry? Maybe? Let's check everything. Windmill, nothing. Foundry, nope. Summers, we did everything. Uh, loom upgrade, we've done it. Um, field upgrade, we haven't done. We could do that. It'll grow faster. I mean, we're not really growing much at all right now, so. Doesn't matter too much. Hanging lights could look really cute. If we want to go get fire glow. Um, desk for a tool. Let's make some more aluminum and we can finally do that. Yeah, man, I do not know how to make a smithy. <laughs> I do not. Uh, I guess that'll happen later. Okay, five more aluminum. And then we can finally make a tools desk. Lots of good things are happening right now. And then we need to make sure we have all the goods for the rock crusher. Stream number five is where it all happens. Stream number five is where it all happens. Give me. Thanks. All right. A tools desk at long last. And then I need to check in with everybody and make sure everybody's fed. Including you, Mr. Sheep. All right. You're good. Um, here we go. Improve a tools house desk. It is done. Stella. Yes. I've done it. Finally. What do you think? I'm not feeling so hot right now. Got a lot on my mind. Keep thinking about my friend, Zazie. Did you ever meet her? We used to organize rallies when we were younger. This picture of her and me is the only picture I have in my wallet. I've had it for over 40 years. Damn. Your Aunt Viv would murder me if she knew I didn't have... If I didn't at least have one picture of our kids. She adored Zaz. Everyone did. Maybe we should hang it in my house. Won't get rid of the foals, but at least we won't get water all over it. Whoops. Sure, I can do that. You're not even going to say, like, hey, thanks for the desk that you worked like, really hard on? Oh my god, a tool I could kill you. Here is a fish. Uh, and hug as well. Likes everything. Dislikes nothing. Favorite food. Pork chops. Good, good shoe. Okay. Oh yeah, Astrid, how are you? Probably hungry, right? No, you're actually... Stupendous. Okay. Um, we've got our windmill as well. can put some corn in and it'll just kind of work at that for a little while uh oh oh it only works if your ship is moving because it uses the wind I see Helga for your name Masha 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 hi Masha Nothing? You've got nothing to say? Okay, well, let me go on your head really fast. No, you're not, like, cool with that. Okay. We have to wait until Astrid pulls up. Yeah, there we go. We are. Here we are. Yes, here we are. Okay. Nothing really going on over here. Hello! As I told you, Masha and I never really got along. She's a tried and true blabbermouth. No, not the funny kind. And yes, much worse than me. I never took pleasure in destroying other people's lives. On the contrary. Mm -hmm. All right. I should be able to pull off a little bit of acting here. Let's see if I can fake it. Do it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Masha! Good to see you again, old hag. You've retreated much further than I thought. How are you doing these days? Well, well. If it isn't Astrid. You've never been this nice to me before. Did Olga send you? Should I assume you'd need a favor? If it's a scarf, sorry, honey, but I've just given the last one I needed to a lovely chap up the, up in the mountains. But I still have some winter socks if you're interested. 
That's nice of you, but that won't be necessary. No, thank you. Stella here welcomed me on her boat and made a wonderful house for me while we were cruising the oceans. All my needs are met thanks to this wonderful young lady. Actually, it's information I'm after. Darling, have you heard anything about Giovanni? I know it's silly, but I'm still looking for my lazy husband. Olga said in a letter you had a lead on where to find him. Oh, I did actually, but Astrid, you know, you know I'm not in the business of gossiping. Olga may be, and I won't even talk about Irina, but me? Oh my, never. Remember when I inadvertently mentioned to Sir Brogwood how his wife had met me, had met, this is tough, had met with his cousin in the lower garden, or when Mrs. Fredericks confided in me the secret of her foreign lover? You don't, exactly. It's because I've never told no one. Oh, Masha, darling, that's true. But what do you make of Sir Langdon's spat with his wife? All because someone blabbed about his mistress to Miss Langdon's maid. Oh, and what about that time when little Bobby accidentally discovered who had killed his pet bird, Zakaria? Oh, oh. What do you think of the ruckus caused by the discreet revelation of Mrs. Gardner's secret stash of fine liquor? And I could go on and on and on, honey. I, but that was different. Where is he, Masha? Oh, well, okay. He's in Loneburg. He hooked up with someone. I don't know the details. Wasn't so hard now, was it? Thanks a lot for helping me out, Masha. Your kindness is as gigantic as your forehead. Shit. You did the right thing, and I won't forget it. Who knows, you might even receive a crate or two of freshly threaded wool in a couple of weeks. And Stella here might need your services. I'll leave you to it. See you soon, Masha. Damn, I hit her stupid face. I'm out of here. Shit, okay. Well. Let's grow some more aluminum, I suppose. <laughs> All right, Masha. Thank you for your time. Appreciate you, my friend. You took your sweet time, right? Are you done? Yes. All right, I'll see you later then. Goodbye, Masha. Have a good day. There goes my controller. I actually zoned out from that yapping. Yeah, fair. Just occurred to me, Stella, this exhibition I've been feverishly toiling towards, never really delved into any detail. As my assistant, uh, <laughs> so many words for to think of it as my vacation. But every single one of them, museum, private or public galleries, festivals, anti-fascist rallies, corporate tax schemes, living performances, every single one of them has been corrupted by base of too cretinous politics. The public is not ready for this one, Gustav. This artist slept with this one and there's some real bad blood. The queen has a preference for this tepid piece of art bourgeois. I've never, not even once, been allowed free reign over an exhibition. I often thought to myself, Gustav, you'll be respected when you get older. No one would dare question your gusto. But then, well, you know what happened. I don't. When my body gave out, my legs became as obstinate as pieces of wood. And the disease, oh, you had a disease. The disease slowly creeping up until my features froze into a ridiculous grimace. I didn't mind all that. After all, the body is but a tool for the mind. My mind has always been as clear as fresh spring water. Okay. No, what I loathed was this perception others had of me. When you turn into a grotesque statue of yourself, people start treating you as furniture. All this work, all this... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This exhibition will be pure chaos. A maelstrom of artistic whatever, 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 whatever. Okay. God damn. Speaking of... Yammering. Speaking of yapping. What? She's never been nice, running her mouth like that. She's the mean one of the bunch. But enough about her. Thanks for bringing me here, Munchkin. So, Giovanni's in Loneburg. Well, he usually hates winter. Let's go find him. Sure. We'll go to Loneburg. I'll chart a course for Loneburg. Well, but I really would like to get that rock crusher... Blow. It's fine. We'll go to Loneburg. Okay, well, now I need to find Loneburg. There are a thousand little points on the map. Done. Okay. <laughs> no more whining out of this guy, and that's a promise. Gimme. Thanks. Okay. 
Now. My grain is done. Red Sox win again! Red Sox win both games of the series. Of the series. It's over. It doesn't count because it's spring training, but I'm still excited. Uh, stretch. Oh, Grievous Krabus. All right, now I got one corn flour. <laughs> Stupendous. Um, all right, well, now what all do I need for the rock? Destroyer. I've got the balls. I've got. I need 10 aluminum ingots. I got the marble and I need six fire glow. Okay, well, let's get working on the aluminum and then I'll stop by fire glow after we do the Lomberg thing. There we are. Back to work. Done. Okay, there's five, and then I'm gonna go to bed, wake up, ring the bell, tend to my babies, and then make five more aluminum. Well, chart a course right after I wake up. Go to bed, wake up, chart a course for Lone. Well, my course is already charted for Loneberg, so never mind. Ring the bell, tend to everybody, five more aluminum, deal with the Loneberg thing, and then we're gonna go get Fire Glow. And then we're going to get a rock destroyer. And then we're going to go past the rocks. And then we're going to get new materials. That is what's going to happen in that order. Okay. Oh, got to ring the bell. I already forgot. Are you hungry, little sheep? No. Okay. Um, good morning, team. Some more flour. Some more corn flour. Okay. Five aluminum. And we are here. Oh, we're done. Give me. Thanks. Okay. We're in Loneberg. I'm starving here. I'm not being dramatic. You're being dramatic. What you like? Okay, you like fine dining and acquired taste. Uh, no, no, no. You like exotic and acquired taste. Paella. Ignoy. <laughs> I tried to say enjoy. I'm not doing this on purpose, man. I'm actually just real life stupid. Uh, I forget what you even want me to do right now. Here's an apple, though. I'll hug you. Oh, my fault. Uh, oh, yeah, picture frame. That's right. Um, add a picture frame, fried chicken, talk to Astrid, Smithy, and Oxbury. We're about to be able to get to Oxbury. Mm -hmm. We're here. Let's take a look. Yes, let's. Let's indeed. What time are you streaming till? Uh, next on the hour. It's another, like, 50 minutes or so. He's been here. I can feel it. I won't beg. But if you could. Oh, come on. You know what to do. Yeah, go shopping. Um, yeah, I don't care about any of this. You're wasting my time. Oh, I see you. Oh. Oh, my. Aren't you the cutie pie, Bambina? I'll call you Peanut. Like a cute little peanut pie. What? You're looking for someone named Giovanni. Ah, but that, Bambina, doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, who isn't looking for me? I'm Giovanni. Leon. Giovanni Leon Formidabile. Sorry to break it to you, though, but you're a bit young for me. <laughs> okay. You know what? Respect. That's, you know what? You've made a good first impression, Giovanni. The bar is on the floor, but you have surpassed it. Congratulations. 
Still a bad first impression, but at least, at least he said you're a bit young for me. That's a slight improvement to being like, you can make it work. There was this show that I watched with my friends at school called Twin Loves, this shitty, like, love show thing. And uh, like the, these, the first people to get together, one of them was 33 and the other was like 20 flat. And when he found out that she was 20, his response, which has got to be the creepiest thing I've ever heard, was, I'm so excited. I have so much to teach you. And would you believe it? Not only did they stay together for the whole remainder of the show, but they were voted by the other contestants as the couple with the best relationship. So they won the money. Vile. Astrid, you say? She's with you on your lovely boat? Say no more. Here I come. Holy shit. Okay, well, I want to access this, like, sad man. Oh, I forgot how to zip line. Oh, yeah, I can't remember how to get in there. I can't figure out, I should say, how to get in there. Oh, yeah, because I, I need to get into that door. Okay, I'm going to investigate for a little. You guys just wait over there. Okay, nothing this way. No, you're not going to let me. No? Okay, cool, thanks. You what? Just like that? No fuss. Really? Must be really desperate. Let's go back. The age gap isn't horrible. The way we about it is icky. Yeah, like... I don't know. Both people are adults. And like 13 years. But also it's like... I feel like 33 and 20 is a lot different than like 43 and 30. Like there's a big difference there. So like the gap itself is like whatever I guess. But... Mm. Mm. Giovanni. Let's head out. Okay fine. All right, Giovanni is, I guess, going to also be a lynx, is the gist. Are you hungry, sheep? Oh, it won't let me interact with anything until I sort out my Giovanni thing. He's here. Well, don't just stand there. Welcome aboard, Stella. Peanut! <laughs> what do you look like, Giovanni? Wow! I didn't I I didn't expect him to literally just be like a traced scar from Lion King. Giovanni. Astrid. Wow, that face is awesome. Oh, Astrid. Mm -hmm. You look good. Always. And you look splendid too, princess. Astrid, I was looking for you. Everywhere I went, you were not there. Honey, my life is empty without you. The air tastes like dust. The ground feels wobbly. The stars are gone from the sky. And no one is here to scratch my back. I even had to buy a back scratcher. You know the wooden one's a little pus can on top. Stop it, Giovanni. I haven't forgotten what you did. I will never forget. But. But. But I'm willing to forgive you. Only if you promise to behave. Can you do that, Giovanni? Can I trust you on this? Or should I forget about you right here and right now? Mm. Yes. Oh, yes, my princess. Have my back and I'll show you how trustworthy I can be. I will shower you with gifts and never take the slightest peep at other women ever again. I don't know, Astrid. <laughs> I don't know. Heavens, I'll even stop looking at other people. You have my word. He just jams like <laughs> forks into each eye. He's like, oh my god! <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, Jovikins. <laughs> but you're still on probation, mister. If I ever see you doing something fishy, I'll kill you. You hear me? Now come here. I have so much to tell you. You walk really slow, dude. Huh. 
I'm not wowed, Giovanni. Your hair is weird. Okay, well, anyway. Giovanni and I have a few things to settle. You don't need to babysit me for a while. Age gaps aren't a problem if you don't meet as adults. Yes. I'd say that's accurate. Someone's gonna cut that up and be saying something stupid. I'm sure you got better things to do than watch two ancient lovebirds reconnect. I'll talk to you later. Uh, this bitch better not ask for his own house. He can live with his wife. Yeah, I swear to God if he's like, I need a cottage. Uh, the man, I did some fishing while you weren't looking. I'm furious with you. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. You fished? Okay, well, that's all done. I have no more requests for now between them. What do I need for the, uh, frame? Picture frame. Tools picture frame. Yeah, cook, man. Cook. Do it, cook. Sizzle, skizzle, 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 skizzle. All right, fire glow is what needs to happen next. Fire glow. Now, picture frame. Improve picture frame. I need six comet powder and three ash planks. Okay, we're gonna have to get past the rocks for all that. All right, no sweat. Um. Cool, cool, cool. Zinc, Ash, and Pulsar. Lots going on. Okay, so obviously Rock Crusher is what needs to happen next. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> that little pose she just pulled. Uh, rock Destroyer. Yeah, just the six fire glow and, and, and we're squared. Great. No way. Stupendous. Okay. Oh, cabbage is new. Let's grow some. No, it's sort of, <laughs> so much food. Uh, how are you? You're hungry. I've been feeding you the same things. You deserve better. How about some shellfish stew? Love you, bear. Goof bear. Okay. What was that sound? I heard like a click, clack, clack, clack. All right, where are you guys? Okay, there we go. Oh, you just juked the hell out of me. Look, wait, what the hell? He's working, but like just outside. Found something you might like, it's a gift from my collection. That is bizarre. Okay, well anyway, Giovanni. Giovanni. Oh, oh, you guys share a house now. So it's like, this is Astrid's door, and this is Giovanni's door. Hey, Peanut! Yes? I see you picked a spot on the map. What wonderful initiative, Bambina. Seeing the world going places, meeting new faces. It's also exhilarating. Before you go somewhere incredible, though, could you do something for me? Let's just go somewhere else. Okay, I'll let you in on a little secret. I want to make someone... Really happy. Shh, don't say it out loud. A secret, I told you. And yes, you guessed right, a very special lady. I want to show her how much she matters to me. This guy is such a loser. I knew you would be on board. All right, we need to go to bottom line core. Oh, God damn it. Chocolate boxes, and she just loves chocolate. The dark and expensive kind. It's a perfect gift, don't you think? Wonderful, Bambino. Let's head there then. Sure, man. Sure. Indiscreet shopping. Consider it done. Tear it up, my friend. Okay, well, first we're gonna get our fire glow and then we can go. Because we'll be down there to upgrade it, our rock destroyer anyway. So that works out nicely. How are you? You're ecstatic! All right, if Giovanni cheats again, uh, Astrid, you have my full permission to toss him off the side, like baggage. Oh, 
an exclamation point. What is that? Do you hear that, Stella? Is that music? An organ? Strings? How incredibly stirring. How dark and mysterious. Oh, what beauty. Stella, would you mind letting the music in? It would mean so much to me. Sure. Let the notes flow through you, Stella. Let the music strike straight to your heart. How so? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. There they all are. Okay, I need fire glow is what I need. You get back here right now. Boom! That was elite. That was elite. All right, we got two fire glow seeds from that wave. This is pretty. Cool. I'm in it for the seeds more than the glims, so I'm kind of just going to wait until more seeds swing through. There we are. Oh, get back here, you chumps. Bang bong! Well, this is lovely. Prizes, prizes, prizes. I don't care about the glimpse. There we go. This is what matters most. Get over here, chumps. Yeah, that's right. I like that they're just carrying them like little messengers. <laughs> you guys are too cute. All right, are we done? No. Oh my God. We're under fire! Have y'all, one of my favorite TikToks, this is another courtesy of Davey kind of thing. He showed me this. It's this uh, clip of this dude playing like an online shooter <laughs> with like voice communications. And these people, and they're playing with this one like evidently pretty old guy who is just like so in distress and sound like he's actually in war. <laughs> The clip opens with him going, I'm hit! <laughs> it's my favorite thing. <laughs> then they laugh about it for a while, and then he goes, Aah! and then you get the little message that he died. It's one of my favorites. It is so funny. Oh, it's over. We did it. I'm going to have to pull it up. I said recently that I was going to do a better job of when I reference something, pulling it up so everyone can see. Let's see. Going to TikTok. Cousin sat on I'm hit. This is it. <laughs> you fucking dickhead, bro. You got hit. <laughs> I'm dead ass, bro. You got shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I'm hit. <laughs> like, how much distress is in that? I'm hit. <laughs> I can't play Fortnite with my friends anymore without saying I'm hit like 30 times. I'm hit! It's so funny. Alright, I'm going sleepies. No? Okay. Slumber party! Another sandwich bite. Another sandwich bite. I'm gonna need to make a hefty meal once this stream is over because I am starving. Okay, now we will be going to Albert. Albert! Corn for you. Okay, now. Got to plant our fire glow. Now, which field does it go in? Not this one. Fire glow. Here we go. Okay, now we can't actually upgrade yet. So we're gonna go to bottom line core first. We'll do that quest while we wait for our fire fire glow to grow. Because once that's grown, then we can upgrade. All right. Well, let me. No. How do I like sing to it? 
I thought I could sing to it. It's just making me water it over and over again. It's fine. Hi, Alex. All right. Take me to... Where's bottom line again? I, I don't. I don't remember. I thought it was like in this general area. I thought it was near Albert. I guess I was mistaken. was hidden in the storm cloud. I can't go there. Oh. Medingus. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Flower. Thank you. Don't forget fried chicken. I'm working on it. Jesus. Good morning, are you hungry? Yes. How about some fish? It'll have to do. Okay. Um, bottom line. Okay. Now! This is a hold X or Y. Okay, we're gonna do that. Oh. Didn't work. What if I hold a Y? No. If I hold like B, hold a D-pad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Atul, you are so handy, my friend. You're so handy. What are we gonna do when you when you leave us? This is, like, a tool is by far our longest resident. I feel like I'm shocked he's still around, man. Honestly. Because everybody else is, like, leaving. It's because of this fried chicken thing, which to me implies I was supposed to be able to do this way sooner. <laughs> the fried chicken thing. But it's fine. I just, it said fat, and the only fat I've, I've seen referenced in the game is the oil that comes from crushing sunflower seeds when I harvest that, and it's like, you can whatever. You know what would be nice? Something to eat. Yeah, fair. Here you go. Plain dishes make the best dishes, or whatever you're even talking about. Funny story, I heard a terrible sound. So then I told myself, oh no, the engine's going to explode. But no, that gigantic, tremendous roaring sound was my stomach. Come on now, peanut, I'm starving. Oh, you're funny. But also, like the where the your hair placement is weird. You're weird. Wow, you are actually starving. Okay, well let's learn what the person likes. Um, I feel like you like fine dining. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I Giovanni Leon for me to be. Well, whatever. And this is his spot. Delicious. Yes, I know too. Likes fine dining. Oh, eating a plate of spaghetti. All right, Giovanni, you're growing on me. Okay, we've made it to bottom line. Alrighty. We did it. All right, go, go, take a look. You should have it here. The nicest chocolate box you see. Got a brand new shipment. Things are looking up for old Theodore. A thousand dollars. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. There you go, Theodore, you swindler. No, I can count on you. You're terrific, man. You know that? Marvelous. Exceptional. Whatever. Exceptional. We don't deserve you. Nope. No one does. Okay, let's back up, guys. We don't deserve Stella one bit. You wonderful little peanut. All right, now give it to me, please. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes. I love it so much. Hold on to it. Let's head back to the boat, Bambina. Sure. You know what? Sure.
Okay. Uh, picture frame, fried chicken, Oxbury, Smithy. Uh, okay. So, need my fire glow to grow. I can't do anything until my fire glow grows. Gotta figure out how to play a song for these damn plants, man. I gotta. Is there some way I can, like, learn from, like, investigating your stuff? Oh, my God. Okay. Maybe it only works for those plants, the field ones. There's no way. Um, key binding. Music, quest, pause menu, inventory, change menu, interact. Uh, no. I'm Googling it. Spirit Fairer, how to grow growing song. It says if you hold down Y, but I tried that. I guess I just didn't do it long enough. What a shame. The cat's singing. Well, this is good. Because I can't do a damn thing until the fire glow is done. What would I do without you, cat? Oh, it's spreading to the others. Okay. And fire glow. Each one gives me two. Okay, perfect. So I needed all three. And then I'll replant a bunch because I'll need some for hanging lights in the guest house if I ever want to do that. Which I kind of do because, like, how poetic would that be? Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm probably going to... I normally don't stream on Mondays. Um, but I'm probably going to stream tomorrow. So, if any moderators can't make it, obviously it's fine. This is an impromptu thing. But I don't know. I'm home for spring break for like three days and there's like nothing going on. So I'm going to just do three days of streaming. Spirit Fair today and then we'll probably honestly play Stardew Valley tomorrow and Tuesday. Because that'll be a long series and I want to chip away at that. Um, Okay. What even? Albert. Alberto. Customer incoming, my friend. All right, cool. All right. Sick, nasty baller swag, I guess. Okay, well, well, I guess I'll keep singing for a little while until we get there. That's the wrong button, dummy. Jesus. Back to work. The rain stopped.
This takes longer than I thought it would to get to Albert. Because he's so nearby. My flower's done. We're here. Albert! 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 Albert. That mill looks impressive. You know, they call one lonely grain of corn in a tree. No guess. One lonely grain of corn in a tree. I don't know. A corn. That one I actually liked a lot. That one I liked quite a bit. Okay, um, nothing there yet. We got more boat size options. Oh my god, scrolling to the right on is impossible. Okay, flawless beluga. That is pricey. Holy smokes. Rock destroyer. Consider it done. Wow. I can now break rocks. This is huge. Coral bouquet. Makes my boat go faster, which is great. I need comic rock. I need zinc ingot. I need ash plank. These are all things we get from rock world. I assume. Goodbye, Albert. We've done it! We've done it! We've done it! Smithy. What about, what about Smithy? I don't think I can make one yet. Flower. Delicious. Okay, well, it's nighttime. Oh, I put my shit away. There we go. Uh, well, it's nighttime. I might just go ahead and hit the hay, honestly. I can't. It doesn't let you in unless you're in sleepy times. And the upgrades give you the smithy recipe. Yes, we will get there in due time. Alright, well, I know where we're going. I check the upgrades again. Well, I can see like what I need for um, like Coral Bouquet. I'm gonna want because it makes you go faster. Master will probably give me the Smithy recipe. Silica Powder and Zinc can get. We'll get both of those. Um, and then yeah, Ash Plank Zinc can get Climber Rock. Just lots of things that are I assume in this right word. East word is like how actually a ship would say it. Okay. Gnarly stuff. And now water my plant. My one, my one plant. Give myself some fire glow. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Now it's dark. Good night. All right. Be act to work. Sheep, you're probably hungry. I haven't fed you in a little while. Yeah, there you go. There's some corn for you. My friend. All right. Well, things are looking up. Things are looking up. What do I need for the picture frame again? I definitely can't make it yet, but I should know. It's probably going to be like zinc, comet powder, whatever. 
Some other thing. Ash wood. Yeah. Three ash planks, six comet pattern. I've got the glass for it. Okay. Gnarly stuff. You're probably hungry, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Let's... How about... I still don't know your favorite food. Popcorn. Mm -hmm. That'll do. Good morning. You love... I just gave you paella because you love exotic. Here's some more exotic. Some fish curry. There you go. Just for you. All right. Kind of getting into a groove here. We got a lot done today in terms of requests. I'm excited to see. We were at 22% requests completed. I'm eager to see how far we've come. Good morning, Sprout. Good morning to you, my froggy friend. Would you like some strawberries? Delicious. Oops, I fell. I fell. I fell. I fell. I fell. I fell. Okay, we're fine. Fire glow. And some wool. Good work, sheep. You're doing a great job. Alright, we busted through the rocks for the first time. Rocks defeated. Amazing. I'm really excited. I'm so happy. I love K-pop. Look at that speed. That was extreme. All right. Well, we're here. I forget where we even are. Is this Oxbury? Maybe. I need to find the woodworker's partner in a cafe. Nope. This is South Park Dogs. Okay. Well, we're still going to investigate because it's a new location. All right. Let's check it out. I'm hungry. <gasps> a new person. Can I dumpster dive? I can just hop on it. Whoa! Is that like an ox being held up by a hummingbird? Why? Help me out over here. There's this guy over there. Don't look at him. Look at me. Yes, that guy. You're giving us a hard time. He's been making life difficult for us. Been screwing up our whole operation. Can't get into any details with you. Let's just say it'd be great. Let's just say it'd be great if we could take a permanent vacation. Dude, you want me to kill this guy? Are you a mobster? Do it nice and quiet. You don't look like much, but I can see it. You got the eyes of a damn killer. Let's see what you can do. Bullying for beginners. Uh, find a worker to intimidate. Okay, well, I need to make sure I'm investigating it all. Hey, would you consider yourself bullyable? What are you doing? Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, okay, relax. Wait a second. Those two knuckleheads ask you to intimidate me. Stop looking at me like that. You can drop the act. I can't be muscled out of this job. I got mouths to feed. I'm not going to let two tough guys boss me around. They were so obvious, too. They were asking around for someone to help ship contraband to other islands. It's not going to fly with me. You can tell them what you want. I don't care. Make something up. I don't know what. You told me you would eat my... Oh, you told me that you would eat my goldfish when I wanted until I broke. Do you like that? Got others. I'm actually a writer in my spare time. Anyways, as long as they get off this dock and move on. All right, good. Okay, well, before I do that, I want to investigate. I want to climb these things and look for prizes. See, look at that. I never would have found this. Or that marble. Okay, well, I want to get up there. It's fine. What's your problem? He's shaking in his boots. What a coward. 
Couldn't see from over here. What did you use? The backwards tangerine. The old tightrope shuffle. Doesn't matter. He looks broken. You broke that man, kid. For that, you get the privilege of giving us a ride. Let's go to your boat. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, well. Got a couple hooligans now. That's fine. I can learn to love them, I suppose. I'm already working hard on learning to love Giovanni, but... There we go. Treats and prizes. Treats and prizes. Zinc. Bada bing, bada boom. We need that. What's your deal? Form for every occasion. So they call me the form man. I pronounce foreman, but my way is funnier. Okay. Or you might lose our jobs next week. Don't tell anyone. It's a big secret. One of those containers is a bunch of robots. Robots might replace us. We're literally shipping robots that will take our job. It's pretty depressing. I'm sorry. I'd like to get up there. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay. I'll see you guys around, all right? Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold the phone. Can I get inside here? I don't know. Hold on. What's up? Got a job when I got out of college. I want to be a painter. I went to art school. I was trash. Couldn't create anything. You know, seen the world. Hadn't met people. Hadn't followed other people. Lived, you know? Now I get done at five and I can paint all night. It's perfect. Still not very good, but I'm better. I'm glad. Yeah, what is the deal? Okay, we've got an elevator here. Should be wearing hard hats. More zinc. I'm living. All right, guys, you ready to go? I didn't mean to talk to you. I did not mean to talk to you. All right, well, it's another mouth to feed. Now I got five, six. It looks like there are two of them. All right, man, let's do it. What are you looking at? That hummingbird. Holy smokes. Uh, can I learn more about the, like, ox you're carrying? All right. You don't look at him. I do the talking. My brother Mickey is the silent type. If you have a question, you gotta go through me. Capiche? Right, you did a pretty good job of bullying that idiot. Easy stuff. But I don't think you got the chops to run this boat. We might just take it from you. Yeah. Let that sink in. See you around. Can I learn, uh, can I learn more about Mickey? Okay. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. Move it, stupid. Why is the text bubble there? How are you guys? It's Bruce. It's Bruce and Mickey. They enjoy the flute. Mood perk says mean things. How about a hug, Mickey? Yeah, how about that, huh? That's a really long animation. Oh my god. Alright, alright, don't tell anyone. Uh, you guys aren't hungry, so we'll... I was thinking, and you know what? Just a chocolate box is nearly not enough for a lady of this caliber. But I know exactly what would complement this gift. A nice bouquet of flowers. Vibrant, luscious roses. No, just where to pick some. Ambertown Park. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's definitely a great idea. And again, not a word. Should be completely surprised. Okay. We got to go to Ambertown Park. Uh, yep. We need to go to Eric's desk, man. Don't forget, I'm a tool. You gotta give me a second, all right? It's hard. It's hard to make fried chicken, it turns out. Okay, we've got, ooh, 
Pulsar rays. We need Pulsar. Uh, so we'll do that later. Some more stuff over here. This is for Comet Rock. We need Comet Rock. We need Pulsar. We need uh, to go way down here eventually to Ambertown Park. Uh, but for now, we're going to go to Oxbury, pass through the Comet Zone and the crates. And then we'll swing over to the Pulsar Zone. And then we'll go to your place. Capiche? Oh, wait. You're not the Capiche one. Never mind. Sorry, I didn't mean to raise my voice at you. Uh, Bruce and Mickey. Bruce and Mickey's text bubble stuff is janky, but that's fine. Um, oh, they're in a great mood. Now they'll harvest Pulsar ore. And say mean things. Well, Bruce will. Mickey will just kind of live his life. I love Mickey's face in this portrait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Presence. Oh, I should grab all these clams off my boat. Let's do that really fast. God damn it. No! Let me leave! Okay. Ooh, look at that. What a find. Imagine if we didn't dive right there. What we would have missed. I got an ash log. I need those. I put one of those on Olga or, or whatever. I have a feeling we're about to find like a bunch of ash though. There we go. All right, lots of tasty treats. And now we... Hold on. Another one! Imagine we missed that one, dude. What would life be like? My life be like, ooh, ah. Uh, probably like that. Okay, well, um, don't forget, a tool, I'm going to wring your neck out, all right? Just being honest. Oh, man, a tool. Man, oh, man. You are a tool. <laughs> I'm going to use you as kindling. That wouldn't work very well. You're very slimy. Okay. We're making our way there. We're going to pass through the Pulsar Zone. Or, or no, Comet. Comet Zone. Comet rocks. Let me have some. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. It's so beautiful here. And Bruce and Mickey are just flying around. I can't believe it. That's marvelous. You need to open your eyes real big. This is a comet shower. Doesn't look absolutely gorgeous. It's only mildly dangerous. Yes, of course, you can lose a limb or two, but that's... But what is a wound in the face of such splendor? What is physical pain when you can have the thrill of your life? In addition, you might get some comic rocks out of it. Comet rocks. Isn't this miraculous? So what do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Have fun. How do I... How? Uh... Oh. Oh, no. Jesus, God. Go down! Oh my God, that, that, something about that roof just like breaks the game's physics engine. Jesus. It's fine, man, this is beautiful. I'm in a great mood. How did I figure out how to get mad at this game? Jesus Christ. I just realized these are all glims that I'm getting. I'm not even getting Comet Rocks. What the hell? I thought those were all comic, Comet Rocks I was getting. Damn it, dude. 
You got some rocks. I want a lot. You're great, Peanut. I know it sounds silly, but I've always loved a tricky situation. Lights and sounds of thrill. God, man, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yep, 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 yep. I'm a natural. I'm a natural. I'm a natural. Kid. What? What, Bruce? You gotta show us what you're made of. You gotta... Hmm. You gotta go fight some pulse rays. Yeah! Good idea, Mickey. He wants to see you get in a fight. There should be somewhere around here. Make it happen. See you, Mickey. All right. Well, guess we're doing that. It's sleepy time anyway. Even the sheep knows it's bedtime. If you them directly when they hit, they're usually comet rocks. Fart hole, dude. All right, well, ugh. Darn it. Whoops. Let's see. How many did I get? I got 10 common rocks. Okay. Now. Eh. What all needs comet again? The crusher does not. It's mostly upgrades, huh? Picture frame, I think. Doesn't that need like some comet powder? Comet, yeah, I need some comet powder. I need a crusher for that. So, wait until we get a crusher for that one. So, yeah, really, right now, I just need to focus on the crusher. Welcome to Oxbury. Master Forger, build a smithy, Oxbury, Ambertown Park, fried chicken, picture frame, pulse rays. So much to be done. Um. Good morning. Okay. I know it's technically three minutes before five, but I've got something I have to do before it rains. It's about to rain. So we're done <laughs> for today. Chicken's killing me. Chicken's killing me, dude. We gained 11%. I kind of was hoping for more, but that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's okay. We spent 13 hours in this game. We're only 33% through. Lord above. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. Thank you, gang. Love you. Big kisses. Appreciate y'all. I'll be live probably tomorrow, honestly, even though I usually am not. We'll see. All right. Love you. <laughs>